Welcome to this tutorial on exporting your gradebook in Desire to Learn version 10.2. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go inside of this training course. And if we go under the assessments button, the second option down is titled grades. So if we go inside of the grades area here, there's a few little tabs here at the, at the top, the enter grades, manage grades, the schemes, and the setup wizard. So we just want to make sure that we're under this enter grades tab. And then there's a few options here, the import, uh, the export, and more, ac more action. So what we want to do is maybe we want to export our grade book because we want to send, uh, send the grades into, uh, into the registrar's office at the end of the year. So if I press the export button here, it gives me some export options. So I can export by all users, which would be everybody in the course, or you can select uh, groups. So if, for example, uh, you, you teach a cross-listed course where you have uh, multiple versions of the same course all into one and you want to separate those into, a, you've separated them into groups, well, you may want to go on and export um, just that group of students. So in this instance, you would want to select groups. But for most of you, you're going to want to select all users, which will uh, identify everybody in the course. And then the key field here, there's, there's three options here, the org defined ID. So this is the one that the registrar's office uh, needs. This is what's, what's their student number. So this is the important one. Uh, the username would just be like their login ID, their K538Z at UMB. And um, so that's what the username would refer to. You can also export both. If you wanted to export both their uh, org defined ID or their student number and their username, you can do that. But the registrar's office only really requires their org defined ID. Now the grade values here, there's three options. There's the points grade, which would be obviously the, the, their, point, their final points value grade. Their weighted grade, so the weight always has to be out of 100%. So if you did s select a weighted system, you could choose to export that. The grade scheme is their letter grade value. So this would be what the registrar's office would be looking for, is their A, B, C, D. And then user details. If you wanted to, you can export their last name, their first name, and their, their email as well. This isn't really necessary, again, because the registrar's office is just looking for the student number and their letter grade. And then under the choose grades to export, Right now, um, it's, it's selecting all of the items right here to export. If I just want to export my final grades, then I'll only select uh, one, of, one of the two here. So the final calculated grade versus the final uh, adjusted grade. And the difference between the two is the final calculated grade would refer to um, the, the, the grade that Desire to Learn automatically calculated uh, for the user. If you did have to go in and change anyone's grades, um, that would re be reflected here in the, the, the final adjusted grade. But for this demonstration, I'm going to select the uh, final calculated grade because I didn't make any changes to the student's final grades. And then at the bottom here, there's a couple of options. You can export to CSV, export to Excel, and cancel. So for the, for the registrar's office, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to export uh, the CSV because this will allow you, I believe, to, to upload this into your, uh, your e-services. Um, grades area. So my recommendation is to export this as a CSV. So if we press press that, it's going to give us a little uh, a little uh, link here to say your file is ready to download. So we just click on the link, and what it'll do is we have an option of opening the file, and we can open it if we want to to review the grades and make sure they're all correct, or you can just click save file. And if we just press OK. What it'll do is it'll just save this file into the downloads area on your computer, <clears throat> and um, and you just go and locate that, and uh, and you can either upload it upload it into your uh, your e-services and uh, and do it that way. Or I'm also told that uh, you can email uh, and, and send it as an attachment to grades at umb.ca, and they'll also accept that. So this concludes the tutorial on exporting your grades in Desire to Learn version 10.2.